There is one thing that if you are not doing in your skincare, it is probably not working near as well as it should be. This one thing has the power to change a lot about the way that your skin receives the products you put on it, the way it heals itself, the way it takes all the goodness in it and actually reduces wrinkles, reduces fine lines, makes it look gorgeous. Isn't that why we're all doing skincare? We wanna keep our youth as long as possible. But there's one thing scientifically explain in your daily routine things that we do on autopilot that if they're optimized they have the power to make so much difference to your money your time this is game changer in fact i took this and i switched up how i did my makeup based on science and it was it was insanity amazing amazing so I'm, i've got lots to share obviously what is it and it's something you may already know about but you probably don't know the details that make the difference with it studies show that damp skin absorbs up to 10 percent more than dry skin okay so that means anything you put on it has a better chance of doing what it needs to do if your skin is damp not wet not damp 20 minutes ago damp right now the goal for any skincare is we want it to get as deep in there as possible so it can do some real things. Ironically, we would naturally think that damp skin would water down our skincare and it might be less potent, but that's actually, that's a myth. So skin is waterproof. Skin cells are tightly overlapped and they hold natural oil and wax. They're, they're, it's designed to repel water and bacteria and all the things that attack our systems that should not be getting in. But exposed to water long enough does collect a surprising amount. Okay, so what is damp skin? Damp skin means it's absorbed some water, but it's dry on the surface. And the crazy part is, is it may look the same on the surface, damp and dry skin, but deep down, the damp skin changes significantly. So this is what happens. When you expose it to moisture, your dry skin cells are gonna take up the water first. The thirstiest ones will absorb that. They start to swell outward, not sideways, but they go outward, about 50%. Actually, this is kind of crazy <laughs> when you think about it. What it does is it starts to loosen the sebum oils and it starts to lubricate in between your cells. And you would think that super dry skin would be more ideal because, well, it would soak up more. But studies show that exposure to water or water hydrators like hyaluronic acid, glycerin, aloe vera, affects how much it's gonna take, how far it's gonna go, how deep it's gonna go. That's an important part of skincare. The thing is we don't want our outer cells dry because it's going to absorb the most of the skincare, meaning stuff is not gonna go further down where we actually want it, where it's going to make a difference, where all of your beautiful serums go in like medicine and change the game below so that it produces beautiful, more youthful looking skin. So you waste a lot of skincare if your skin is dry when you put it on. But that's not even the main benefit. The actual main benefit is the effect that it has on the natural moisture factors in your skin. So like your waxes and sebum and all that fun stuff. Well, it gets thinned and a little bit melted down. So it's kind of, I'll say like a bit more slippery, which means products have an easier time slipping past and going deep down into the dermis, which is like the dungeon of your skin where all the goodness happens. Now you're probably wondering, how do I get this perfectly damp skin? I'm gonna tell you about that, but I'm first gonna show you something. Um, I haven't actually put out the video yet, though I've done a few, I've done a few lives showing this, but now you're gonna understand why it works so well. I tend to thin out my foundation with aloe, and not just any aloe, Afterglow Soothing After Sun Gel. One would say, oh, but it's for after the sun. Oh, no, no, no. This is for so much more. I use this so much. It is like a main staple of my skincare, but it's also a main staple in my makeup too. And so what it, I'm gonna show you, if you can watch this, you're gonna understand how it works with your own complexion from a skincare perspective. I've got the Afterglow foundation made of wax, botanical waxes. Aloe vera is, it takes in water, pulls in water. Let's take this aloe vera based gel Let's take a little bit of the foundation and then we'll just kind of watch as, see how it just dilutes it? It just melted the foundation. It just made it slippery and totally different than the original. See how smooth that is? And it just dilutes it, it like liquefies it. That's how I do my 
my actual most natural foundation is I mix those two together. It, it is so incredibly awesome. When you just want like a light, barely there coverage, you just get like the most perfect foundation. The other thing is I do, I can take that up a notch, with like three, three notches. I'm a three notch kind of person, you know, I'm always taking things to the next level. It's gonna have to be for another video. And if you're actually curious, let me know in the comments below if that whole process that I just explained would actually be something you'd be interested in, then I'll do the video. How do you get damp skin? Shower. Humidity in the bathroom is so important. It pulls in the moisture and you emerge just waterlogged with water, waiting to be covered in your serums. Serums go in and then you put on your lotions and that will hold it in. And so it's really important that you do it within three minutes after getting out of the shower to get the most benefit. Otherwise the water starts to evaporate. Uh, steaming your face. So be careful if that heat's not what's the thing, it's the moisture that you need. So too much heat is actually not good for your skin. Facial misting, rose water, anyone? I mist all day long because I like to rehydrate all of the stuff that's in, in my skin from my skincare. Humidifiers in your house, one in your room, that sort of thing, as long as you get the moisture up in the air. When you do facial mists and things like that, you wanna make sure it really soaks in and then you just pause until it dries. You wanna feel like it's actually dry to the touch. If it's still really, really wet, your skincare is just gonna kind of slide right off of it. The last thing is, if you're doing the facial misting, make sure you do your next step, like your serums, within 30 seconds, because it is not quite in there the same way as the shower, so it's gonna start to evaporate a little bit faster. So if you wanna lock that in, you have you, the timer is going, so that's really the most important things I wanted to share with you about the damp skin. It's really, really important. You are going to get more mileage out of your products. You are going to find that things just work better. And, and, and the crazy part is I'm really just getting started. I am going to do a video next on serums. Oh my god. When I was reading about it in the studies and all the things, I was like, oh! Lights went off in my mind and I'm like, nope, they went on. <laughs> lights went on in my mind and I realized I'm like these are game changer things these are those little things that people need to know so that they can optimize their skincare and get the most out of it you see that natural looking glow I am 40 years old so I'm pretty proud of the skincare I do and the difference it's made I'm gonna stop on that note so that you can get on with your day and maybe damp your skin and put your skincare on and if you already knew this tip maybe some of the things are, around it you didn't know why they actually worked the way it did sometimes knowing those little pieces really make a difference to you wanting to do the process if you actually believe in it so the next one i'm going to be up will be about serums you will find some glorious things about it you probably didn't know i certainly didn't know and i hope to catch you guys in that video